Lately, I've been in such a weird headspace. And I know that if I called my mom, she'd ask, are you on your period? And you know what? I would say yes. These next five or so days are gonna be a little chaotic. I know that. It always happens. I just don't want it to. So essentially, I'm trying to combat this by giving myself more to do. I also have a bucket list of things that I've always wanted to do on my own anyway, like see a movie or take a hike during the day in the light. <laughs> I could go wrong. And you know why? It's only because Frank looks really cute. <laughs> it's chaos. I hate being a woman. But I did make a sourdough starter last week. And it's active. There are so many bubbles. It's fermenting like crazy. <laughs> so we have to make bread. Sorry about that. It was awkward for the both of us. But I'm rested and I have digested. So let's start with the bread. I found a recipe for small batch sourdough, which is perfect because I don't know how this will go. My sourdough starter is quite bubbly. The recipe I found was in the grams, so I converted everything. I don't know how well I did that, but we'll see after I add these next few ingredients, which are one and three fourths cup of flour, We'll start with one and a half. And a cup of water. Lately I've been having trouble figuring out what I like and what I don't like. I don't know what to do when I'm giving myself the ick. One, because it's a little self-deprecating. Two, because I don't know, how, how do you change yourself? I think it's just a weird time in my life. Well, with that light topic, I'm gonna leave this for about an hour. Maybe grab some dinner. I feel like I did something wrong. I think I'm gonna grab a coffee. I wanna do some reading this morning. I've been waking up and kind of binge scrolling on my phone. I need to change up my routine a little bit. So, a book and caffeine it is. I have high hopes for this bread. I missed a lot of steps. That's the beautiful thing about a sourdough starter. If you mess up the first batch, you just start another one. It's a great responsibility. You have to feed it every day. It's like a baby. It's a little flat. It almost looks like a focaccia in a way. 
which wouldn't be bad at all if that's what I was trying to make. I'm concerned because this was supposed to look like a round ball. Okay though, okay. It's not right, but it's also not terribly wrong. I'm gonna say this honestly, and also because I need to hear it. Not bad. It's just a little flat. That's fine. So am I. We're going to Harris Lake to take a walk and do some writing. No more crying. No more tears. It's like a, an epidemic. I can just look at something and feel a certain way and my body's immediate reaction is turn it into water and excrete it. I hope this whole video isn't just about me on my period. I'm sorry. Well, now it'll be me on my period on a hill. Here I got my very first ticket. So let's take a brief moment of silence for the loss of my crystal clear driving record.
This week's been a whirlwind of, of emotions. I haven't cried so much in so long. I guess it's nice to know that mentally you can come back from feeling what you thought was your lowest point in only a few short days. And all it takes is, I guess, a little self-care. I'm on my second bread attempt. And I'm thinking that this time around it's gonna be good. I don't know, everything goes by like an inch at a time. And having a lot of time is is a good thing, I think. Because I don't think I'd know myself if I didn't have time alone. But it can get really it can get really draining only being in your own head. If you feel that way, so do I. And you're not crazy. You're probably just on your period. Unless you're a man. And then I would say, you probably just need to cry. I love you guys. I'll see you next week. Most remained in the wild. Those who made their way to civilization struggled to death.